Sorry about that. A little technical difficulty tonight. I'm jumping off one hangout, hopping on another one. Sorry for the delay, guys. I, I sincerely apologize. I do not take your time lightly as an entrepreneur. I appreciate you uh, being patient. Sorry about that. Um, let me know who's on. Is anybody on? Anybody on? Check, check, check. Can you guys hear me okay? Check. And see me okay. Let me know. Let me know. Just want to make sure before we rock and roll. Tonight's going to be packed. Got or, uh, Very, very fast paced. Very, very, very cool. It's a, a, a topic, a subject that is very, very near and dear to my heart because of what happened at events. It's going to be very, I promised you guys the 10 tips. And there's actually a bonus one on here as well. I promise you 10 tips that will make you a rock star with Live the Dream in particular. But I mean, with any event you go to in this industry, this is 100%. Uh, awesome. Hey, Lisa, Roderick, very, very cool. This is 100%. Guys, this is where the leaders are born at events. And I assume everyone on this webinar right now is going to the event. Okay? So um, with that being said, I'll just speak to you. If you're not going to live the dream for whatever reason, first off, I don't buy into your excuses. Get the ticket after, to, after tonight and uh, just be at the event. Trust me, it'll be well worth your time. But I'm going to speak to everyone on this webinar. If it's okay with you that... Um, as if you're going to live the dream so we can all be on the same page moving forward. Does that make sense? Is that cool? I'll wait for a second. And yeah, drink green juice, man. This is day number three. Day number three. All sorts of juice. I'm, do, I'm doing 10 days, guys. I'm getting all amped up. I am ready for live the dream. You're going to bring some passion, some fierce, some fury. This is going to be an awesome event. Awesome event. Is this okay? Is everyone okay with this? Yes? Good? A little bit of a delay with the Google, with the Hangout. Check, check. Everyone okay with this? I can speak to you as if you are a Live the Dream attendee, which everyone should be on this webinar. You're obviously here and committed, hanging out with me on a Thursday night. You can be doing all sorts of things, and you're here with me, and I appreciate that. What up, Marty? Cool, cool. Okay, all right, great. Okay, great, 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 guys. Um, good amount of people on here. Let's uh, let's just get going. I'm gonna just dig into it. You guys are here because, again, like I said, ten of you want the ten, my best ten, ten best tips that I live by at uh, you know when I when I get to events, guys. And I can tell you with uh, with having met Norbert and Todd at events. Like this is a very, very key critical piece. I believe in if you're building a network marketing business and really just wanting to grow. Right, you've got to be at live events at least once a quarter, right? Whether it's your network marketing company or if you're lucky enough to be, you know, in an area with people, and, and you are. There's millions of network marketers everywhere, be it meetup groups or company events or live the dream or things like that, or with maybe you work with a business partner who's, you know, in the same house or right down the street. But you really want to immerse yourself around individuals who help raise the boats up, right? They don't just click and kick and crawl over you to try and climb the corporate ladder, but they really want to help you. Uh, they're on the same track. They're entrepreneurial minded. They they're personal development oriented. They're they're very aware of their surroundings, their conscious thoughts, what they attract, all this good stuff. It's very very critical. So not only is it just getting to events to learn, obviously, but to be around the people. Okay, and I think that's a, a huge 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 you know it's just as important as anything we're going to go over tonight. But I commend you. For everyone on here coming to live the dream, thank you for uh, for being there for you, not you know, for nothing more. Like I'm, I'm thankful for you making the decision and taking the leap. It may be uncomfortable for you. You're not sure how you're going to pay the hotel room, or you might be bringing, you know, Nutrigrain sandwiches or Nutrigrain bars or peanut butter and jelly sandwiches to the event because you can't afford lunch. I get it. I was there. I was there eight years ago, so I know what you're going through. And trust me when I tell you, my friend, you are writing your story. You are creating a story to where you are going to be able to inspire people. You're going to be able to move the masses. You're going to be able to basically expect, cultivate the expectation of leadership amongst your team because you are stepping forward and you are literally, like the team's only as fast as, it, as its leader, right? And you are moving, you are getting uncomfortable so you can turn around a year from now and expect people to same, make the same uncomfortable decisions that you made to get to this event if that's you. Right, if money is super tight. So 
I'm going to dig in. We're, this, uh, I don't want to keep you too long here, and I want to give you exact, what my goal here, just so we're on the same page, is that you go to live the dream, you take some notes tonight, and you follow these 10 steps, and you walk out of that, that event. Live the dream, November 2nd and 3rd. You walk out of that event, a complete and total rock star and well on your way to financial freedom. And it can happen. You can leverage this event with what I'm about to show you, what I've done in my personal experience uh, in, in everything with events and coming back and making a ton of money, more money than I've made. Literally, I've come back from live events to make money, more money that next month than I had in the previous year. That's how on fire you are, and you can harness that, and you can bring that to the table. That can happen in your business, guys. It happens at all the top earners. Uh, events are like seriously where the magic happens, where the team gets – there's glue, where the belief happens, where the light bulb goes on, the, the flip switches, and it's just like, oh, it's real. So that's uh, rock and roll, okay? Cool, cool, cool. Let's, let me share some stuff. Let me share this desktop, actually. Okay. Um, Whoop, whoop. I've got a notepad, okay, that we are going to go over together, okay? Number one, number one, number one, do not be shy. And this was tough for me, if you can imagine. I mean, I wasn't necessarily, I wasn't the shy, the shy, I mean, I was shy in, in high school and things like that. Um, but, you know, uh, when I went to my very first event, I can remember being more shy than like anything. You know, imagine a 23-year-old kid who was flat broke, maxed out a credit card to get in the business and to get down to Phoenix, Arizona from Washington, D.C. I don't know anything. I don't even know what the acronym MLM stands for when I'm at my first event. And this is a top-tier direct sales company, okay? So uh, I walk in there not knowing what to expect at all. And what I did was for that very, like literally the, the entire weekend, I, I met some people, I was in, throughout, I mean literally, it, that event changed my life, that's why I'm here, because I, I got a taste for the people, but I was so naive and shy and just like timid and not sure what to expect, I mean these people who I admired on these conference calls, kind of like what MLSP has today, they were making 30, 50, even a hundred thousand dollars a month, okay, so in the very beginning, I remember that first night. What I did was I would kind of like look around and and I would I would find the leader because I knew what they looked like. There was pictures online and things like that. There was no hangouts. You couldn't see people train like this. It was all conference calls. Uh, so what I did was I found the leaders and I I literally like walked up to them and I like I didn't say hi to them at first, right? Because I was so shy and timid. And what I would do, like I honestly didn't know. The conversations, like like what they would be having, I thought they'd be talking about crazy. I don't even know stuff that I didn't even know that was aware aware of, right? I'm thinking whole new universe stuff. I'm thinking you know a, a black hole into a whole new galaxy that I didn't even know existed. That's what I thought they were going to be talking about. So what I did was I would go up and around them, and I would literally just kind of like stand behind them and eavesdrop. I'd like put my ear, you know, into the conversation and see what they were talking about. And I didn't know what to expect, but go figure, it was like cool stuff. It was cool stuff. That I wouldn't say normal because it's not the normal stuff that normal people have. You know, it's conversations about life, family, marketing, stuff about where they're going, the trips they've taken, you know, how they they bought their wife, a, you know, X, Y, Z, house, car, you know, how they're living the dream, how they don't, you know, just amazing, inspiring stuff, how they're able to give back to some charities. Like these are the types of things that these leaders were talking about. And I thought, you know, that – it, it was going to be something, like I said, a whole new matrix, like unplugged from the matrix. These guys are totally, they're, they're cyborgs, right? They belong in like Independence Day or Term, Terminator or something crazy. So that's what I did. Do not do that. Do not do that. If you are shy, I get it. You are hurting yourself. If you go to live the dream and you do that type of stuff, okay, now I soaked it, I sucked it up and I, I got very uncomfortable that event and I, you know, wrapped up all my courage to go shake hands with these leaders, and I was so nervous, I didn't even know what to say, but just shaking their hand was a, a huge step for me, right, and saying thank you to them. Thank you for all the training, for everything that you did. And I got uncomfortable. The worst thing you can do is go to live the dream, okay, and this might be your very first event, and I commend you, I commend you. Get out of your comfort zone. Go meet the individuals. Go meet the leaders. Go meet the, the EMT, the MMT. I saw Marty on here. Go meet the leaders who are the speakers, the, the movers and shakers, and meet anyone. Everyone at this event, 
I'll, I'm going to venture to guess that the majority are going to be incredibly inspiring, driven, motivated entrepreneurs. People that you deserve to have in your Rolodex. You have to get out of your comfort zone. Do not, do not, my friend, do not stay shy or be shy at this event. It will, it will hurt you a hundredfold. I've seen it happen. People go to events and they clam up and they sit in the corner and go figure they're not at the next event, right? You have got to become a different person, okay? People want to join a business with someone they know, like, and trust. Now, you don't need to be life of the party. You don't need to go kick back crazy beers and, and you know, stand up on the bar and do dances and things like that, but you do have to start networking. That is part of what we do, network marketing. Yes, we leverage the internet. It's online network marketing. You got to start building the Rolodex. Get extremely uncomfortable. If that, if you can sit and imagine, right? Uh, just uh, imagine going up to a leader, right? And, it, and if that is so nerve wracking to you, right? You got to start. You got to prepare yourself, okay? And what I do, I mean, literally, guys. If you're nervous about, um, you know, approaching a pretty girl, or you know, if really approaching a stranger and especially someone you admire and look up to in this space start thinking you know about some some moments in your life where you have all the power where literally you have you have something whether maybe you got on stage maybe you you know it was a moment where your kid said something amazing you're never going to forget right maybe it was something like back in high school that you you know I'm a I'm a big sports guy for me it was uh, you know going to like the state championship in baseball or with wrestling Right and things like that, or maybe it was the moment where, for me, when I was at a live event, and I remember the instant that I made the decision that my life would never go back to what it was. Right, the moments like if you can go back right now, and I want you to do this. Please stay with me here for the next minute, and go back and pinpoint. Maybe tonight it doesn't have to. You doesn't have to happen right now, but take some notes, and I want you to pinpoint four or five different times where you can go back and you were just like your. Your mightiest, right? Your your the most shining moments in your life. Maybe it was when your kid were kid was born, or when you married your your spouse, your baby, right? Maybe it was the time you were able to pay in cash for something that you never thought you'd be able to. Maybe it was the time you got your first job and it was so amazing. That's okay, right? Something that was so inspiring that that when you go back, it like makes you like like holy shit, that was me. That is me. That is the person that I want to become. That is the power person where there was no fear. I was in the moment. I was so joyous, right? So on fire, so just passionate, right? And that's where you want to stay. You got it, like literally, guys. When you start picturing yourself going up to, a, like, uh, I don't know, Michelle Pasco Salido, for example, and if you get nervous, I want you to revisit that moment and play that movie in your head for the next two weeks, gearing up for Live the Dream. Because if that gets you a little nervous or your hands start sweating or you get very uneasy about approaching someone or meeting new people I want you to everyone's got some power excuse me some power event some something 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 that they did or happened to them or that they created that they are extremely proud of and go back to that because and, I, and when and if you can imagine seeing Michelle over there saying hi Michelle like if she's over here right I want you to picture in your mind's eye this, I want you to st bring that moment back and bring it to the present and be that person, okay? And I want you to, like, shatter the idea that this is going to be nervous, or I want you to, to literally obliterate this thought that seeing Michelle or Ray or, or Rob Four or, you know, any of our, our uh, speakers up there, uh, Mark and Frank and, and Steve Jaffe, all these big hitters, right? Dagan Smith is going to be there, a very good friend of mine. Imagine replaying this movie in your head and then at the moment you see them, instead of getting uncomfortable, uneasy, and, and a little nerve-wracking, I want you to become and go back to that point in your life where it was nothing but pure passion. It was nothing but pure success, pure excitement, pure, like, holy cow, life is amazing. And I want that to shatter. I want that to, if you go through and play this movie five, ten times a day and shatter the thought or the feeling that you may get on a regular basis when you have to meet strangers, do that over and over again because, guys, this is an opportunity. It's a small window. It's only two days. It is only two days. If you go and you let that bullshit thought that you're shy or that you don't know what to say or that they're better than you or that you're, you shouldn't be in a conversation with them because these are the thoughts that I had when I went to my very first event, okay? If you let those plague you 
for those 48 hours, for that weekend, it is going to haunt you the rest of your life. It honestly could be the, make, the difference between you making or breaking it in your business. And I'm not joking around. This event has the opportunity, has the possibility to create an absolute fortune for you. It truly does. With the, the knowledge, the networking, the content that we're going to provide, the developments that we're going to drop, the, it, it absolutely has the opportunity and possibility to create, I mean, there's two paths, right? At this event, there's going to be a fork in the road. You can either go back to the way you were living or you can step into this new reality, this new possibility of ultimate freedom, okay? If you let this being shy bullshit plague you, and I'm, I'm staying on number one here for a minute because this was me, and I 100%, you guys, if, if, if going up to leaders or you know meeting new people is a little bit uneasy for you, trust me, Trust me, trust me, trust me, I get it. And I reprogram my mind over the years. And I love meeting new people. I love being in social in, in social environments. I love meeting leaders. I love being around leaders. It, it, light, it, it pulls me. It, it excites me. It gets my blood going, right? Nip this in the bud and start replaying that video of you and your power moment and start tagging, start linking, start associating, start anchoring that moment of power to what is going to happen at Live the Dream when you meet these new people, when they shake your hand, when you have a conversation with them, go into your power being. And honestly, that's where you should stay anyway for the majority of your life. So let me go back real quick. I'm, uh, I'm going to, let me, let me just see, make sure everyone's uh, hearing me okay. Are you guys okay? I'm, I'm kind of running the show here and I want to make sure that um, audio is good. Let me know. I know there's a little bit of a delay. Let me know. Let me know. Let me know, guys. We got a lot to cover and not too much time, and uh, that is a big one because, you know, just really never really understanding, not even knowing what personal development was or what it took to be a leader, you know, growing up. I never read these books. I didn't even know what personal development was. I truly didn't. So, you know, this is this was huge for me to um, get out of my comfort zone. Right, and that's what it takes to become a leader. Okay, that's what it takes to be to create. Okay, awesome. Thank you, Roderick, Lisa. Very, very cool. That's what it takes, guys. Leaders do not. They they are so uncomfortable with being comfortable. It makes them sick when they are comfortable. Did you get that? Leaders are so uncomfortable with being or staying comfortable. Like if they ever feel like true leaders, true thought you know, uh, thought leaders and people who push the envelope and who, who uh, have big visions, big goals, dreams, hopes, and think real big, if they ever feel themselves getting comfortable, they've got to, like, like shake it up and get out of that because that does not feel good to a leader. They are comfortable with staying and being as uncomfortable as humanly possible because that is where new new possibilities open up, new realities. That is when you start growing. You start literally going to different levels in your life, reaching, you know, you never, guys, in the moment you stop learning, you're dying, right? And the moment you get comfortable and you get comfortable with being comfortable, you are, that is the advancement that you're ever, that is the highest you're ever going to be. That is the, the most you're ever going to be in that moment because you start, because if you don't use the muscle, guys, what does it do? It goes away. It deteriorates. Right, you've got to continually be growing, continually be getting uncomfortable with with or being extremely comfortable with being uncomfortable. Okay, so let's uh, yeah, let's keep on rocking and rolling here. I'm glad y'all can see me. I think let me just see that real quick. Share the desktop. Very cool. Cool. Hang on. Okay. Awesome. Number two. This is pretty self-explanatory, guys. Do not walk away with at least at least ten names, emails, Skypes, and business partners. Okay, and I honestly, I'm I'm just putting this as like a, a low number. I would really like to see this like ten on Friday, ten on Saturday, ten on Sunday. This is the fastest thing you can do to grow your business, guys. This is networking. Networking. Do not walk away. Like literally, this goes along with number one. There. Do don't be shy. Get out of your comfort zone. Go meet people. All right. Exchange numbers. Get names. Find people with skill sets that complement your skill sets. If you're not a, you know, a techie SEO guy, you don't really like that, find someone who is. And if you're a social media guy, gal, whatever, right, you guys can kind of trade, you know, do some webinars together, trade skill sets. You can host webinars and move forward and maybe combine and, and do some team stuff with you and, you know, create like a brand together like, like uh, Frank and Mark, right? Guys who have gone on to create products and sell hundreds of units of this product. 
Guys who are now five-figure earners. They, you are, guys, the sum, the, the sum of its parts, right? The, the whole is so much greater, right, than each individual part. The sum of its parts do not equal each individual part. I'm telling you, as, especially in this business, guys, um, is critical to find yourself a business partner and someone you resonate with, someone you want to, you run a, want to run alongside. Because they can get lonely. You know, you're at home, you're hanging out at home, you, you know, literally, you're working from home. That's also why I love events, why I get to them, right? I get to interact with people all the time. I love it, right? But if, if you don't have a running buddy or someone that you can play with, guys, it's just hurting you. It's hurting your, your business. It, it, you honestly, the feeling of knowing that someone's there, the ability to pass back, you know, like, um, ideas, throw ideas off of leaders and, and other people who are entrepreneurs and people who are in the trenches. Get 10 names, find, you know, meet 10 new people and exchange information. This is exactly how me and Norbert met in 2008, in the beginning of 2008, okay? At an event, exchange number, we, numbers, we were then running buddies in a course that we both bought all because of one event where not, I walked up to Norbert and I actually bought him a beer. And that was the initial conversation, the initial relationship was that a beer is actually down in Austin, Texas, where I first met him, right down the street on 6th Street, which is awesome. I go to that bar frequently, and I, I just revisit that, because had I not approached Norbert, had I not gotten out of my own way a couple of years before that event, right, I maybe would have just sat at that bar and been like, oh my gosh, there's Norbert, you know, scared, frightened, getting, letting the, the monkey chatter get in, my, in the way of my dreams and goals and, and what I was going to do on this planet, and that's bullshit, okay? Number three, get videos and pictures all day, all day long. Let me give you a, one tip here, okay? Um, if you're going to ask a leader for a video, awesome, do it. Let me give you just a couple tips here. When you do this, like for example, if you go up to Mark Harbour, do not just ask him for a testimonial about you. Okay, first off, that makes the leader very uncomfortable. I can tell you from experience because they don't know you yet. If you're brand new, they don't. if you know them, have a relationship with them, all means do it. If they know you, love it. If you guys work with them or they know you in some way, shape, or form and you've built a relationship and you want a testimony, get it. You're at the event. Annoy the hell out of them, right? You are there. Have the experience. Get the social proof. Love it. If they do not know you, okay, do not. Please do not ask them to say, hey, hey, you know, uh, hey, Brian, you know, if I'm, if I'm Ray, let's do a different one. If someone comes up to me and asks me to do, uh, you know, this guy named Troy, I don't know Troy from Adam, right? I'm sure he's an awesome dude, and he wants me to do a personal recommendation endorsement for him. That makes the leader extremely uncomfortable because they don't know them. Okay, so do you see, like, most leaders, they don't want to put their stamp on something or someone unless they physically know the quality that that individual produces or the integrity more so. They don't need to have results or anything like that, but they just don't want to, they don't stamp their name on everything that comes around, right? So if you want a tip and write this down, the best thing you can do to grab my attention or any other leaders is to compliment them. Compliment them on a specific training product that they that they created and you went through or a webinar that they hosted, something that they put their heart and soul into because that's what we do here in MLSP. We give you everything we got. So if you say, imagine, you, you go up to Rob Four and you say, Rob, man, I bought Predatory SEO. It is the best thing since sliced bread, man. I've got it going on. I've got my blog set up. I'm actually getting like three to five leads a day all through the search engines all because of your product. I absolutely love it. Do you mind if I ask you a question on the video, on, on video? There's no way in hell that dude is going to say no. You just tongue bathed him. He has put so much heart and energy and, and effort into that product and you just gave him an awesome compliment. There is no way he is saying no. Now, I'm at, like you see, I didn't ask for Rob's recommendation. I said, Rob, do you mind if I ask you a question? Okay? And be ready with this stuff, guys, because what happens at these events, I want to prepare you. There's going to be a lot of people. Okay? If you have the opportunity to have a quick interview with Rob, take it. Say, hey, man, I got a quick question. Have a buddy standing there with the camera making sure it, it records properly because time is of the essence with this stuff. Everyone wants to meet Rob. Everyone wants to be around Diane. Everyone wants to see Michelle. Right? If you will have the luxury to spend that moment with them, Take it. Seize the day. Don't be shy. Grab it. It is right there for the taking, and this will help you in your in your uh, journey. 
there was a video that I did with Mike Dillard back in the day. He didn't. He knew who I was at this point. I didn't ask him to give me a recommendation. I said the exact same thing I told you to do. Ask him a question. Ask it. You know, give him Mike, dude. The ebook completely magnetic sponsoring changed my life. It absolutely did, man. This chapter and get as specific as possible, man. Be like, this was so incredible. This was the aha moment. This was so awesome, man. Do you mind? Can I ask you like one simple question about X, Y, Z? Okay, and he said, of course said yes, and I'm so grateful for that because that video on that capture page, okay, made me over two hundred thousand dollars in revenue because of that. This was years ago, years and years ago, but because of that video, he was such a, a rock star at the time. I was nobody. Instantly, I'm like an instant rock star, right? I'm an instant celebrity, instant authority be, by association because of Mike. Right? I asked him one question. I don't even remember. I should go search for that video. But I asked him like, what's one thing about attraction marketing or something like that? And then I edited it. I, I grabbed that piece. Then I edited it. And then at the end, I said, look, fill out the form or something. We'll give you, you know, more tips on how to do X, Y, Z or something along those lines. And that's all it was. It was like, a, and I sent so much traffic to that capture page, and it converted like wildfire because I sent it to the targeted people who would know Mike. And I was right there offering, not only getting a question from him on film, I was hanging out with him at an event, instant celebrity status, but when they opted into the form, man, that was it. That they, they, I built my list very quickly with that one video. Okay, And get as many pictures with the leaders. That's a m much easier than video, right? That actually takes time. It's going to be loud. It's going to be, you know, it's going to be difficult to kind of corner a leader in some of these instances to create or to capture a video. Okay, but look around, guys. People, you know, go to blogs. People have testimonies all over the place. People have, you know, social proof pictures on their Facebook cover photos. This is what you, people like. This stuff. They want to work with people who are successful, right? And being around with leaders and videos and 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 pictures and things like. Like this is instant authority, instant credibility, again, by association. Huge, 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 okay? So that's my tip. Don't go up and get crazy with the leader and beg them for a testimony video if you have no relationship with them, okay? Instead, as you know, like I said, huge compliment on something specific they did or created that has benefited you and your business and then ask them a quick question, and it only needs to be like a 30 second. All you want is that social proof. That's really all you need, okay? And then leverage it to the nth degree, period. Okay. Um, cool. Buy a top earner a drink. I can't tell you how many times, guys, in the uh, past where, where I couldn't afford to, but I bought a top earner a drink. Because then, guys, the reciprocate, the reciprocity, the reciprocity, the reciprocation. What happens to that leader is that they feel like they owe you, just as any human being. You buy them a drink, they want to like spend some time. They should. They feel like they need to spend some. That's why you buy cute girls a drink at the bar, right? <laughs> but that is, they feel like required to give you a couple minutes. So if you can, and you are hanging out at a bar, and you see someone like Steve Jaffe or Diane Hawkman, buy them a drink. Buy them a drink. They will sit down and talk to you for them. I get almost guarantee. I certainly would. Hint, hint. Right, and that would be like that could be a five-minute conversation. Even if it's three minutes, there could be something in that conversation with that six, seven, and even eight-figure earner. Yes, eight-figure earner that change that for whatever reason, the way he or she says it, the aha moment happens for you. It switches. It's like something that maybe you even heard a million times, but just in that moment, in that instant, because it was real, the leader was right there, and it changed everything. And you're on this totally different path because of it. And the only reason they're with you and talking with you is because of the reciprocity they felt that they needed to, you know, to elicit to you because you bought them a drink. Right? So Buy a top earner drink is the fastest way to grab their attention at the bar. And trust me, of all the guys and leaders, I know them personally. I've spent spent so much time with them. They are fun. They don't take this too seriously. They don't take themselves too seriously. Buy them a drink, have some fun, and ask them quality questions. And write those down. Be prepared for these conversations. What do you need? What do you want? What do you want to extract? What do you want to receive from this event? Right? What are the questions that you personally you Okay, what do you need in your business that you can ask someone like Ray Higdon or Diane Hoffman or Steve Jaffe, Michelle or Bill Pesca Salido, right? Or uh, Mark and Frank, right? The video guys. 
Snappy. This is going to be a quick event. I want you to gear up and be ready. Get your team together. If you have people there, this goes without saying, get them together. You know, get them, go buy them lunch or, uh, you know, just get them together in a room. You don't need to have lunch together, but gear, like line something up to where you can meet everyone and everyone can meet each other so they feel a part of something special. They can feel that they're a part of something bigger than themselves. Right? If you can instill that thought, that belief, that feeling in them, they will stay. People just want to feel loved, man, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it's one of the human needs that we can never, we just can't do without. And making them feel that they are part of something special, even if you have one person there, take care of them. It only takes one person in this beautiful industry of network marketing to make you a millionaire, right, depending on the business you're in. Get your team together and push your team. Don't accept no for an answer. Guys, this is not this is this is horseshit. If people buy into their excuses, they can't get into into this event. It's two hundred bucks. The speaker lineup, the quality of content, the story they can create getting out of their comfort zone to get to the event, on top of what can happen thereafter with what we're gonna go over, that's bullshit. I don't buy into that. You shouldn't either. You get your team there, you force them there. Right? My sponsor called me up, said, Finale, you are going to fail in three months. Right, if you do not get to this event, he was not sugarcoating it with me, and I forever and in, in, in debt and am grateful to him for that. Okay, for for that little, you know, that 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 harsh love, that harsh reality love, you know, that 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 gut check conversation where it helps you get your head out of your ass and see that what you're doing isn't working, the decisions you're making aren't getting you the reality you want. Right. Have that sit down. If you're a leader and everyone is on this call, have that conversation with your team. Because, guys, you are a leader. You've got to start moving people, inspiring people. You've got to start doing the things that people find attractive. And what's, what is that? Just being a leader and, and just going, being all out committed with focus and moving forward. No, just so convicted. That is, people are craving that. They're starved for that. People with conviction who know where they're going, who are on track. And, guys, Getting your team to, the, your, to these events are 100% part of this game. That is where the glue happens. That is where instead of just doing this as a hobby part-time with their spouse, you know, as for fun, no, it becomes it's business now. There is a multi-six-figure, seven-figure income to be earned in this space for you or your family or whatever. You've got to get them there, though, and you, and you can do that by leading the path. By doing the thing, that's why you get to events. Part of why, because you can tell that story and expect your team, like I said, cultivate that expectation of leadership. Here we at. Okay, let me go back real quick. I'm, I'm, I've got, we gotten halfway through. Are you guys, are you guys uh, digging me here? Are you feeling what I'm going over? Let me know. Let me know. Uh, been sitting for the most of the day, man. This day's flying by. Yeah, Marty, it is a CDOS shirt, baby. PA. Let me know. You guys can hear me. Let me know. Then we'll finish this up. We'll finish this up, baby. Let me know if you're getting some tips. If you're getting, if you're digging this, if, if any of this is resonating with you, because we're only halfway done. Let me know. 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 Yeah. Cool. 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 Very cool. All right. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, we are going to go back to the desktop. Cool. At lunch, this is big. If someone is nasty or negative, simply get up and leave. Guys, this time, your time, is too valuable. There are going to be way too many ridiculously awesome people at this event. Awesome people. If you find the one out of a hundred people who are negative, who are grumpy, who are pissed off because they don't have any money or they're broke, right, and they're extremely negative, get away from them. And don't be a jerk about it. If you sit down to lunch, right, because we're pretty much going to own this whole hotel. If you sit down for lunch and an individual, you sit down and, and you immediately get like this cold, nasty feeling. This happened to me, right, and this is exactly what I was told too. Like, look. You get up nicely and say, "It was very nice meeting you," and that's it. I'm going to go sit at a, you know at a different table. Guys, you, the time is so precious and valuable at this event. If you get stuck sitting next to the rare one or two people who are going to be there that are just fed, they're just not happy to be around. They're not excited. They're not amped about life, about this journey, about business, about figuring out the solutions to the problems they have. Stand up, thank you. It was very nice meeting you, and walk away. Because guys. It's going to go so fast, this event. 
you need to surround yourself and fill your Rolodex up with people who are who are honestly opportunity minded. They're I, I hate they're they're optimistic, but they're not like just happy go lucky glee ha ha ha. But they're they're seriously so focused on the goal that they are so uh, solution minded or solution oriented. Like those are the individuals you want to find. It doesn't need to be you know. I'm not saying go find someone who's making money and sit next to them. I'm talking about just people to mastermind with and who are excited about it and who are innovating and creating and actually doing things. Those are the people you want to surround you in your business. And those are like, you know, you got to create your 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 circle, your inner circle mastermind, right? Napoleon Hill, that's like one of the big things. Your bank account is the sum, is the average of uh, your five closest friends. If it's below or if it's not where you want to be, you got to find five close new friends. And this is the best way to do it at like the downtimes at, at Live the Dream. During the lunches, during the you know before the event, after the event, at the VIP, everything. That's where you want to play. Okay. Come in, my, come in with an open mind. Okay. I want everyone going to live the dream, going to live the dream, leaving everything that you think you know at the door. Okay. I don't want you to come in prejudging what you think the content's going to be, prejudging the individuals you think you're going to meet. Or basically just calling, you know, thinking or putting into a box what you think you're going to learn from the event because it's it can be so much bigger than what you what we as human beings can expect or or you know we we just want to go in guys with a clean slate. I'm promise you we're going to deliver the value of the content in this event. I'm excited about it. I can like barely sleep. I am super pumped about it. But if you come in with a closed mind. Okay, or that, you know, who are these guys, these internet network marketers, I'm a, I'm a doctor, or I'm a lawyer, or I'm a XYZ, and, you know, I just got started, I'm not really sure if this is real. Cool, cool, but I'm telling you right now, it will serve you a millionfold to just trust in the fact that we know what we're doing, and it not that's like going the extra mile. Don't even trust us yet if you don't want to. Just come in and leave the bullshit at the door. Uh, we don't want any of it. You're gonna come in thinking that you know or that you should be the guy on stage. Don't even come. I don't want you there, okay? Because I'm I'm going to tell you that these featured speakers were handpicked handpicked for a specific reason. The ebb and flow of this event is gonna go in such a way that we're gonna take you through an, a very very exciting experience that goes from attraction marketing through uh, through lead generation through closing and then making money with these leads that come through on top of a whole bunch of mindset stuff. Come in with an open mind. Leave what you think you know at the door. It will behoove you. It will serve you the most. I guarantee it, okay? This is big. Don't go to sleep until everyone else is asleep, okay? <laughs> and I am definitely a party guy. I love hanging out to the late night with all these entrepreneurs. It, it, it thrills me. It, I thrive off it. But uh, to the best of your ability, you want to be hanging out at the bar. You want to be not doesn't mean drinking, but I mean meeting the people because that's where the VIP parties are going to be, and that's where the I mean there's nowhere else to go. This is also why we chose this event. This isn't in Vegas because we don't want the the, the noise, we don't want the distractions. This isn't downtown because we don't want people being able to easily leave to go somewhere else. They are in that hotel. We got you know as close to an airport as humanly possible. Still kept a sexy uh, resort hotel experience. On top of not having the the crazy external distractions and noise of Vegas, okay, this was handpicked and it's there for a reason. We want you to not go to sleep, right? So you can get as many nuggets as possible. You can. I want you to come in there like making the decision that this is going to be the event of a lifetime, and you don't want uh, guys for 48 hours. Just give us everything you got, okay? You want to be the the last one shutting it down. That's how badly you should. I mean, that's how much value these individuals, these speakers, these uh, other networkers at this event, guys, this could be it. This could be the weekend that changes everything. It could be. But you got to be up for it. You got to be up for it. I mean, literally, the event's going to end like 6.30, 7-ish each day, right? We're going to go until like the VIP party on Saturday, for example, is going to go to like midnight. And then the bar, I'm not even sure when the bar closes. Uh, we'll have to double check on that. But, uh, you know, get ready to leave everything on the, uh, you know, on the field. Everything you got, stay up, communicate, interact with, meet as many people as humanly possible, ask the right questions, get the answers you seek, and, and give yourself the benefit of the doubt here. Put all odds in your favor and play the game. You got to be up for it. Stay awake as humanly possible. And this goes along with that. Playing full out. You don't just want to be awake like a zombie, guys. 
playful out. In the exercises we ask you to do, playful out. If we tell you to go sit, sit, get, go sit some with someone completely new, a stranger at lunch, do it. Do it, do it, do it. Guys, we want you to come in and seriously have the experience that me and Norbert and every other tap earner did. And these are tips and tricks that we are going to force you to do, even if you are, are uncomfortable with it. But you've got to make the decision that, hey, you're going to play full out with us. I don't want you coming in, crossing your hands, your arms in the uh, – in the in the room and just shutting off all of the the energy and the content and what's going on inside the room that's you, you might as well not even show up if you don't play if you're not committed to the idea of playing full out of this event we don't want you there right because what's going to happen we're going to jack you up we're going to we're going to give you so much value we don't want you going home right and literally just let it, letting everything just fizzle out Okay, we want people who are 100% committed to their business and are going to take the information that we give and the experience we provide and go home and knock the cover off the ball. It doesn't mean instant success overnight, but what that means is commitment. You are committed to the cause. You come in here, you leave nothing, like I said, nothing on the table. You do, you do what we ask you to do. right? You come in with no, you know, let everything, like I said, that you think you know, leave it at the door. And you play full out with this group of six, multi-six and seven-figure earners. You play full out with them because, guys, when I was flat broke, I'm, you know, I'm not an idiot. I knew that there were things other, that leaders were doing that I wasn't. If they would sit down and show me what they were up to, I would listen. And some of them did, and I listened, and I acted. Right? If I had any judgment or if I had any chip off my shoulder or any ego that I let get in my way, I would not be here. Come in open-minded. Ignorance is bliss. Let us fill a complete you know, put a put a, a blank space in your brain somewhere that we can just fill with all of this information and content so that you can go home and gear up and ready to party your, I mean, not, well, party too, but just party like a rock star in your business. Okay, let us fill that tank with everything we've got, all of our knowledge, and we need you to be able to receive it. It's the only way this is going to work, okay? I want you to make the decision right now, right now, in this instant, in, in this moment, okay? that this is the weekend that changes everything. We're going to bring it. We've been doing it this for five years. We've seen and created some of the biggest success stories out there that you see online today. Some of the highest paid earners have come through and are what they are today because of this curriculum, this education, this platform. And I don't mean that in an ego way, but I, you know, this community is badass. It is so incredibly inspiring and awesome. Okay? And it's not me in particular, any one of our leaders for that matter. It is the community, this environment. I want you to make the decision right now. Right now, in your journal, whatever you're writing on, that this is the weekend that changes everything. I want that expectation set. I want that to be a part of your, your DNA, right? your inner core. This, this weekend, November 2nd and 3rd, is the start of a entirely something new for you and your business and your family. Okay. I'm going to give you a bonus one. And this is important. I want you guys to meditate on this. This is the weekend that can change everything. Why not? You hear all these leaders always say events are the, you know, the glue. The events are the magic. This is where it can happen in an instant, in a moment, in a second, in a decision. The power of a decision. Make the decision right now that in two weeks from now, the game changes for you. And here's a bonus, okay? I want you to do something. You're going to get interviews, right? You're going to get videos. I want you to not go home and just let them sit on your iPhone or sit on your camera or sit wherever you record them, all right, on your iPad. I want you to use them and leverage them. Send them out to your list, okay? I want you to, to create a capture page with a video or throw, you know, a picture with you and a leader, you know, on your capture page as social proof or on a sales letter, on your blog. Put any type of testimony videos you get on your blog. Maybe it's just someone you met there that you did a quick, cool video with that maybe promotes one of our products. You can use that video on Facebook to pre-frame or to sell, basically to pre-frame prospects who are coming on Facebook and just talk about uh, the link below. You can get as creative as you want. I want you to start thinking of ideas that you can start harnessing and leveraging so that you can make this event this event, Live the Dream in Two Weeks, the most powerful 48 hours of your entire business career and where it all starts right here. I do not want you all jacked up with nowhere to go. Right? You're going to go home with specific tasks and strategies, especially if you join us on Monday. You're going to know exactly what to do, especially if you feel that MLSP is too technical. Or you've got some, some quick questions that you could feel that you could use one-on-one -on -one help with. I get it. I'll get into that in just a second. But the worst thing that an, a trainer or any speaker at Live the Dream, I, I'm telling you, 
that, that we want to see happen, or we never, never, never want to see this happen, is that you go home and you do nothing. You, you, you've got a, a stack full of notepad notes, just pure gold, and you do nothing with it. Your bonus is to commit to do something with the videos, the information, the, the pictures, with everything, the, the, the names, the Skype emails, with everything that you've got so you can move forward. Start building those business partners, those business relationships, those JV partners, guys, and move forward. Okay, you're going to be on fire. I want you to stay, like, when you walk out the door Sunday night and Monday night for all those who are joining us on Monday, I want that fire to stay with you. I want you to hold on to that. Have that be a part of you. Do not go home and let it fizzle out. It's the worst thing that we can ever see happen, ever. Okay, I'm going to go back over here. I'm going to take this off, and I just want to double check and, and say what's up. Right on, some familiar faces again. Lisa, Wade, Debbie, Debbie, Roderick, Wade, awesome, Marty, cool, 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 guys. Um, we good up to here? I've only got, I'm going to spend five more minutes with you, and then I'm going to call it a night because we're getting on another bonus webinar for Live the Dream. But I got some very important stuff to, to discuss with you, so stick with me for a minute, okay? Let me know, let me know. You guys all good? Good, good. Someone give me a yes. Check, check. Awesome. Cool. You guys dig it? I mean, everyone's, everyone, okay. All enjoying that you're getting some value out of this. Good, 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 good. Okay, cool, great, guys. Now here's the deal. Um, I'm going to say this to everyone. Uh, I'm going to real quickly go over to. Uh, well, those are my ten steps plus a, a little bonus, guys. You really want to. I mean, this is the event. I would play, like I said, full out. I would bet everything you've got on this weekend because this is going to be be a very, very, very cool experience for you. Okay. Two things, excuse me, this green drink. I'll tell you what, Marty. Woo -hoo. The, uh, what I will say is this, okay? You've got two options here. You can come as general admission, which everyone on this, uh, on this list, I, I assume, is, you know, is, uh, is coming general admission at least, right? Uh, let me go into, uh, to, well, I'll show you in a second. I want you to be aware of the VIP. You can actually still upgrade to VIP. We've got stuff planned for both Friday and Saturday night. I'm telling you, in a five-minute conversation with one of our speakers and leaders in these VIP events can change everything. It did for me and Norbert, guys. It did. It was a very, very similar setting, very similar. And I bought him a beer. We had a conversation that led to us, well, it led to everything. From that point forward, we became running buddies in that product. Like I said, fast forward about eight months after him bugging me for like two months to take a look at MLSP, I finally, like was before, right before I was about to create my own system, looked at finally what he was doing just before I went on my own path, okay? And blown away, that conversation at that VIP experience is the only reason why MLSP is here today, period. And that's a, that's a scary thought for me. And, you know, having seen and created some of the biggest success stories out there, you know, it's a... It's a scary thought to think that if I had bought into my excuses to not upgrade to a VIP experience, this I wouldn't even be talking to you right now, and that seriously pains me. And you know that's the power of decision. It's really, really awesome. So um, let me sh let's do this, guys. I want to make sure that we all are on the same page. I'm screen share my Google Hangout. I'm going to log into MLSP for a quick second. Okay. First off, if you don't have a Live the Dream ticket, by all means, I'll drop the link. I'll drop the link in um inside the webinars on there. But here, when you log in your back office, and everyone who has bought a ticket, regardless of if you're a paid member or a free member, right here is a link, okay? Click on it. And I'm going to go right here. You can upgrade to VIP. I want you to really understand. You, I, you can, I can't see this, but you can click on this and really get a feel for what VIP means and what this is. Okay? Take a very serious look at it. You've already committed you know, some type of finance. And I do not do not take that lightly that you're, you know, you're taking time out of your busy schedule and spending the weekend with us and the financial investment on top of it. But take a second glance okay, 
at this VIP upgrade and the experience. This is where the high quality conversations are. This is where, I mean, we can't run the leaders, the speakers. These are, this is the, the primo. This is the, the, the big quality networkers that you want to add to your Relodex are hanging out at the VIP, period. That's where they are. If you can swing this, and I, I hate saying even saying that. I expect I want the people, the leaders who are ready to step up to live the dream, who can really just sink their teeth into this business and this industry and never look back to a life where they aren't fulfilled or they're not making the type of money they want or they feel like they have no time freedom. That's bullshit. I want people who are ready to never look back, who are sprinting over that bridge, right, towards paradise, towards whatever business lifestyle you want to create and leaving all the job crap, all the negative bullshit, all the stuff that used to hold you back and make you feel unfulfilled and just terrible about your life, leaving that on the island, sprinting across the bridge to paradise and burning the bridge and never looking back. If that is you and your business and where you are, you have to be a VIP. Just click the link and check it out. Right? And honestly, it might be uncomfortable and it might be hard to swing for some people. Trust me, I get it. The investment, the experience... The MLSP would not be here without, had, had I, I'll just leave it at that. You, MLSP would cease to exist, $20 million company, millions of dollars given out in affiliate commissions to, out of thin air to network marketers, to once struggling network marketers, would not be here if I decided to not go VIP. Go VIP, play full out, that's part of the, you know, part of the prereq, play full out. And I want you to, you know, you can do spouse tickets here by all means, but this Monday, if you are new, this is it. This is a hundred percent. You know, VIP, awesome. Do it if you can swing it. All right. right? Check out this page in this video. This is a one. This is a day from like ten to six. Okay, where we one hundred percent. Like we've got Michelle and Bill Pesco Slito stopping by. Dean Black is going to be hanging out the entire night with us. The entire day with us. Excuse me. Me, my my brother, who is the chief. Uh, he's the design. He's the uh, head of design here at MLSP. This is going to be a day for geared towards new people. Okay, quick start intensive. We're going to go over every. I mean, for two ninety nine guys, you can't buy this type of training because this is right now. There's like twenty some people in this. I don't even think people know about it, or they they just glanced over it once they went through the funnel because we've had hundreds of tickets sold and there is literally nobody at this. And this is going to be such a cool experience because of it. We were going to cap it anyway, but guys, this is going to be – check this page out. Just check it out because we're going to give you, if you check out the bullets, a thorough, comprehensive, complete run-through of the entire platform. We're going to go over everything, the profit centers, the copy and paste stuff with all everything in the academy, things you can start doing right now with all the information we dump on you throughout the weekend, how to really put it together, especially as a brand new person and where, sh where you should go first, okay? How to leverage the pure profit products as a brand new person, how to create your very own capture pages starting right now that brand you as a leader, okay? Forget about branding and building someone else's brand, guys. This is you. Long term, you want to build a successful business, we got to build you as a leader. That's what we've been doing since 2008 and it's worked out pretty well since, okay? Branding you. This is huge. And getting your own unique selling point. You've got to stand out, right? You've got a gift. You've got a message. Let the world know it. We're going to help you discover it. Okay, just like with Lisa, when I created her webinar with her months ago, she didn't even know that that was sitting right at her fingertips. She just needed a little bit, you know, a little bit, uh, some, some clear eyeballs looking in at her situation, her story that is just pure gold, right? A struggling speech pathologist. Right, uh, wants to come online. Struggled for you know some time, and now is we. It was some time ago, but it was a real sexy headline that she used to create webinars from. To where really maybe you just need an expert, someone who's been doing this for years, to craft up your story or help you craft your story, get your unique selling point, and build you up. Just custom built guys. The tracking stuff you probably don't even know it exists back there. Ready to go fan pages. The video hosting and custom player inside of MLSP article directory. I guarantee if you're not using the article directory and you're wanting to end up on the search engines, you are losing, like, this is gold. It's pure gold. It's, it's a website that you can put links on. It ranks in the top 30,000 websites in the world. You probably don't even know it exists, and that's okay. Let us help you and show you where that is. Did you know that you've got a 100% free personal autoresponder for up to 500 people? Yeah, I'm, in light of time, just check this out. Absolutely disgustingly awesome for brand new people, and when you buy this, you get to choose Tube Traffic Mojo, Social Media Mastery, your predatory SEO. These products sell all day long for 300 bucks. This day is $300. Absolutely incredible, okay? Um, 
I'm going to drop this link, okay, because Oh, hey, Dean. What's up, man? Guys, that's where you want to go. Okay? That's it. That's where you want to go to upgrade to VIP and your Monday. Okay? This is going to be a very, very awesome, awesome webinar. And what I would say, I'll actually show you one more thing. If you buy your ticket, guys, we're going to do, we are doing something very special right now. Okay? Right now. It's happening at 9 o'clock Eastern starting right now. Immediately when you buy your ticket, what's going to unlock is this, okay? Buy your Live the Dream ticket in the link. If you already have it, just you should already know about this, okay? But if you don't have your, your ticket, buy your ticket right now. Do not delay. Go to the Store tab. This immediately unlocks. Click on Live the Dream for bonuses. Write this down. Buy your ticket right now because this is starting right now. Go to the Store tab. Scroll down to Live the Dream for bonuses. Scroll down here to week seven, Mark Harbert is going to teach you how to get two cent visitors. Two cents per website visitor or 60 to 70 cents a lead. That's what he's going over right now. And even cooler is he's got a cool technology and something he's using to be able to legally spy on and follow his prospects so he can know exactly what they're clicking on and they can keep seeing your offer over and over again. They're so cool. Okay. Buy your ticket. Get on there. It's starting right now. I'm actually going to close this webinar in just a second because I want to get on this webinar. It is that valuable, okay? Go to the Store tab. Go down to Live the Dream 4 Bonuses, okay? And you can register for that webinar. It's happening right now, 9 p.m. Eastern, right now. I love you. I would take questions on the 10 steps or anything to do with um, mindset or the event or upgrading to Spouse Monday, guys. You've got all the information. I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I appreciate everyone who is on and who is hanging out with us. This call, my friends, is a wrap. I will see everyone in San Diego. VIP Monday, buy your ticket. Get on the webinar right now. I love you. Thank you so much for your time. Jam-packed hour. If you like this, guys, put on, say hi on the fan page or something. I appreciate it. Sorry I couldn't do questions. So much going on right now. Have a great night. I'll see all the leaders. You, Yes, you a leader in San Diego, baby. November 2nd and 3rd. Live the dream. Bye.